In this video, we will be going over how to add pages to your Google site. So first we're going to get back into the Google site that we made in our previous video. And over on the right, we're going to choose the pages menu. And so we can see that right now we just have our home page and right down at the bottom, there is that nice big plus sign. And so that's what we're going to click to add a new page. So it brings up the new page option and you can give your new page a title and then it inserts that new page and it'll give your page the title. It'll show up in the navigation at the top and it automatically gives that page the title in uh, the cover image for that page. So you are gonna go through and add some new pages here using that plus sign at the bottom and then giving the page a new title. And then when you click done, you can see it appear in the top navigation in the right corner on your website and it will automatically give it that title on the website. So there's the three dot menu that hovers um, next to the page and properties is the option for where you want to change the name of a page. So click those three dots and click properties if you want to change the name of one of your pages. So we want to change this to class resources. You can see it changes the name in the navigation and on the side, but it doesn't change the name in the title. So you will have to go in and type in the new name in that uh, title on the actual web page, but it will change the name in the navigation and on your pages. So there's also the option to hide from navigation. So you would keep that web page on your website. You can see subjects is still there, but it's hidden from navigation. And you can bring it back to click show, for, show in navigation so you can hide it and show it. And then you can also add sub pages. So under subjects, we are going to add some sub pages, which will bring up a drop down menu from that navigation. You can see that little arrow next to subjects. And now there is a drop down menu for those sub pages that are associated with subjects now. So we're gonna finish up adding those. You can see the dropdown is on my page menu as well as in the navigation for those sub pages. So you can see where um, the person visiting your website would be able to access those pages by clicking on that dropdown and then clicking on those pages to get there. So that three dot menu will always uh, show up as you hover over your pages here in the page menu. And you can duplicate pages. This is where you'll change the name with that properties. You can add sub pages, hide or show from navigation, and you can also delete a page from here. And then there's always that big plus sign down at the bottom to add any pages to your website. So the other option in uh, creating pages is how you want people to navigate to those pages. So up at the top bar, there's this little settings menu that comes up as you hover over the top bar for side or top navigation. And so you can change this toggle back and forth to see your navigation as a side menu or top menu. And when it's on the side, there's that little um, indicator that shows that you have to edit your pages um, in that page menu. And so it will bring you over here and you can see that you can drag and drop the order of your pages. So I moved about me to the bottom and now you can see that it is the last page in my options. You can drag those around and reorder them how you choose because they will be in the order that you create them. And then you can move them around to be in whatever order you would like. And so that settings bar will always be up there, the little settings um, gear uh, in your navigation bar so that you can toggle back and forth, whichever you choose to have the top navigation. So they show across the top of your website or that they are um, kind of subtly off to the side in that three bar menu so that your uh, website visitors would have to access it um, on the left side. So that's up to you. You can go back and forth and choose which navigation style you would like uh, for the pages on your website. Try it out on your website today. Don't forget to subscribe to the EdTech Team YouTube channel and check out the next video in our playlist.